Hello, good evening, Rolando. Good evening, Elsie. How are you tonight? Excellent. I am ready. <laughs> ah, okay, that's nice. Hey, what happened with the rest of the classmates? They aren't here. How was your day, Rolando? How was your day? Uh, I was very, how was it? Very tranquil. Quiet. It was quiet. It was a relaxing day. Relaxed day. Ah, okay, perfect. Did you go to work? No, no work. Okay, you're not working. No, you work. Ah, okay, that's excellent. Hello, Elsie. Good evening. Está conectada, pero no me escucha. Ya el rato que le estoy llamando. Ah, okay. Tiene pan, pánico escénico. <laughs> Probably, right? Hey, do you remember the last topic that we were studying? What was the last topic? We studied. The past of P. Okay. Was this, and where? Was and where the simple past of the verb B. For okay. example, were you in Hawaii? Yes, I was. Ah, okay, that's excellent. You remember that. So let me see what happened here. No, oh, here is Kenny. Okay. Hello, Kenny. Hello, Kenny. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? I am mm, so, so Okay. In the world is hard today. Oh, it was a busy day today. Excuse me? It was a busy day today. Ah, yes. It, I was a busy today. Oh, I was busy today. I was busy today. Hello, Yolanda. Good evening. Welcome good evening. to the class. Yeah. Ruben, good evening. Welcome to the class. Is it rainy in the place where you live? Is it still yeah. rainy? Yes. Yes, it is. In, okay. In Sonsonate, it's raining. How oh, you live? You are from Sonsonate. Yes, I'm from Sonsonate. Okay, what about you, Rolando? Where do you live? Uh, it's raining. It's raining too. Where do you live, Rolando? All, all day. It has uh, been San raining Bartolo. the whole day. Some? All day. San Bartolo. Oh, San Bartolo. Oh, San you Pablo. live here. I live in Cojutepeque. I live in Cojutepeque, so you are near. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. Como dice, I, I lost another day in loss in Cojutepeque. <laughs> really? I lost una gran perdida. <laughs> oh, really? But Cojutepeque is a small city, right? It's a small city. Lo que pasa es que iba a entregar un kit de... Eso del COVID a una compañera. Y me pedí una pérdida de loco. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry to hear that, Rolando. Do you remember some places that you saw here in Cajutepeque? Oh, which places are there in your city? ¿Qué lugares hay allí en la ciudad donde viven? Hospital, hotel, grocery store. A place. Never place in ningún, ningún lugar. Ninguno de esos. A bank, a clinic. No, any of them. 
Tonight we're going to talk about that. Or so let's start with the class. Tonight we're going to study that. For some places in this city, we are going to remember some of them. So here we go. Yes, let me share with you the presentation. Okay. I'm sharing with you my screen. Let me know if you can see it, please. Can you see it? I see the chat. What's your neighborhood like? We are going to study this topic today. What's your neighborhood like? ¿Qué tal como es su vecindario? Is it clean, noisy, quiet, dangerous? What's your neighborhood like? Colorful. Very quiet. Very quiet, okay. ¿Cómo es su vecindario? What's your neighborhood like? So welcome to the class number five. Let's start with this. Uh, this is the lesson objective for tonight. In this session, participants will learn about how to ask an answer question with this. There are, this is, there are one, any, and some. So let's start with this conversation. Vamos a comenzar con esta conversación. It's a conversation between Jack and Mrs. Day. So let's listen the conversation. Excuse me, I'm your new neighbor. Pueden escuchar la conversación sin ningún problema. Let me know, please, if you can listen. Sí, chair. Sí, se escucha. Yes, okay, that's perfect. Let's play this. Excuse me, I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center, too. A barber shop? Okay. So look at the picture and tell me why, why does the woman suggest a barber shop? ¿Por qué le sugiere una barber shop? Because he is long hair. Oh, because he has a long hair. He has a long hair. He has um, a long hair. In which places is he looking for? Which places is he looking for? According to the conversation with play, which places is he looking for? Grocery uh, store. store. And? Uh, a Okay, a grocery store and a laundromat. What is the meaning of grocery store? Do you know the meaning? Como tienda de golosina. Okay. De alimentos. De alimentos, food. They sell food there. And what about laundromat? Lavandería. Es la lavandería. Look at the picture. The man is carrying his dirty cloth on his back. So it says, excuse me, in your, I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes, I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there is one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there is a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop. <laughs> so let's go. Uh, or let's look to this sentence. Are there any around here? What is the meaning of that question? Are there any around here? Let's see. Hay algún alrededor de aquí. Okay, muy bien. Hay alguna, ¿verdad? Hay alguna alrededor de aquí. Algunas. Are there any around here? Y la respuesta es yes, there are some. There are some on Pine Street. 
let's see the other question. Is there a laundromat near here? Uh, well, I think there is one across from the shopping center. In tonight's class, we're going to study these questions. Uh, are there any around here? There are some on Pine Street and one too. There, there is a barber shop in the shopping center too. Do you have any question about the vocabulary in this conversation? What's the meaning of the expression, by the way? For sarcasm. By the way? It means a propósito, ¿verdad? A propósito. Hay una barbería en el centro comercial también. A propósito, it's the meaning. By the way. No question? Let's listen again and pay attention to the pronunciation and then we are going to practice this conversation. So let's listen again. Excuse me, I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center, too. A barber shop? Okay, anyone up here to help me practice in this small conversation? Who wants to try? Rolando and any other volunteer? Rolando and Jacqueline. Okay, Rolando, then you are Jack, and Jacqueline, you are Mrs. Day. Can you please start reading this conversation? Okay. Excuse me, I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes? I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Finn Street. Rolando? Ah, okay. Um, oh, good. And is the there's love drama near here? Well, I think there's one cross from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop? Okay, thank you so much. That was perfect. Thank you, Jacqueline. Thank you, Rolando. Any other volunteer to practice in this conversation? Who wants to try? I need two volunteers to practice, please. Hello. Okay, Ruben and Kenny. Thank you so much, Ruben and Kenny. Ruben, you are Jack. Kenny, you are going to be Mrs. Day. You can start, please. Excuse me. I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moving. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on um, Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's on um, across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop. Okay, that's excellent. Thank you so much. Very, very good job. Thank you. So let's go with the next. Excuse me. Okay, look at this. In this class, we're going to study there is, there are, uh, one, any, and some. And also in the interrogative form, is there a landromat near here? Is there a landromat near here? That means, hay una lavandería cerca de aquí. Then we can answer using, yes, there is. Or we can use, no, there isn't. Yes, there is. Then if you answer, yes, there is, you have to continue saying, there's one across from the shopping center. 
There's one across from the shopping center. Not the reason, but there's one next to the library. Are there any groceries store around here? Yes, there are. No, there aren't. Or you can say, no, there aren't any around here. So we are going to use is there if we are talking in singular. Is there is for singular and are there is for plural. Is there a laundromat? Are there any grocery stores? So is there a singular? Are there is for plural? Don't forget that, please. Now the answer you use yes, there is or no, there isn't. If it is plural, yes, there are or no, there aren't. So look at the first example here. Do you remember about this? There's one across from the shopping center. What is the meaning of this preposition of place? Across what? from. Across from? Esquina de. Enfrente de. Enfrente de. Thank you, Kenny. Yes, enfrente de. Across from. And next to, but there's one next to the library. A la parte. Thank you so much. A la parte. And what is the meaning of any? Do you remember the meaning of this word, any? Algunos. Algunos, yes, and some. Algunos. It means the same, right? Significa algunos también. La diferencia está en el uso, ¿verdad? Any se utiliza para question. We use any to question and also for negative sentences and we are going to use some in affirmative sentences so look at this question are there any grocery store around here so algunas it's in question so we need to use any look at the answer yes there are there are some nice nice stores on pine street so here is an affirmative sentence. So in these affirmative sentences, we are going to use some. And pay attention to the last answer. No, there aren't any around here. We are going to use any in negative sentence too. Vamos a utilizar any también en las oraciones negativas. So don't forget this. Any is for question in negative sentences. And we are going to use some for affirmative sentence. Now let's remember these prepositions. On, next to, near, close to, across from, opposite, in front of, in back of, behind, between, on the corner of. Recuerdan todas estas preposiciones? Do you remember all of them? Any. What's the meaning of on? Dentro. O sobre. O oh, means sobre de verdad, sobre, on. On the table. Next to, what's the meaning of next to? Next to, al lado. Lado. Junto. Near. O siguiente. Al siguiente, next to. Yes, you are right. Thank you so much. And next to, en preposición de lugar, significa al lado, a la par de. Eh, on significa sobre, sobre una calle. It's on Main Street. Está sobre la calle principal. Eh, near o close to, what's the meaning of these two preposition? Near, close to. Cerca. 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 Yes. O esquina. Uh, cerca. Oh, near. Okay. Okay. Across from. Or opposite? Enfrente. Cruzando. Ok. Eh, cruzando la calle o opuesto. Muy bien. In front of? Enfrente. Enfrente de. Enfrente de. In back of or behind? Detrás. Atrás. Atrás. Between? En medio de. En medio de. Entre. And finally, we have on the corner of. En esquina. En la esquina de. 
en la esquina de, okay, that's excellent. So let's listen this information. To listen the pronunciation of those prepositions. So we're going, yes? I have a question. Tell me, what is your question? Uh, which, uh, which is, which is different in any in song in question? Oh, what is the difference when we use any and song? Song va a ir en una pregunta cuando estamos ofreciendo algo. Solo en ese caso vamos a utilizar son en una, en una pregunta. De lo contrario, tenemos que utilizar en. Solo si usted está ofreciendo algo, por ejemplo, do you want some coffee? Do you want some coffee? So in this case, we can use some, pero es una excepción, hombre, es porque estamos ofreciendo algo. Okay. De lo contrario, en una pregunta vamos a utilizar any. Okay. Thanks, teacher. Okay, thank you so much. Any other question in this part? Questions? No uh, sí, yo sí, no. es que voy a con la preposición de across from y on the corner of, porque una es como cruzando la calle, pero independientemente del sitio, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Iniciando, That finalizando exactly. la calle. Mm -hmm. Y en la de off, on the corner of, es exactamente en la esquina, entre una avenida y una calle. Así es. Across from significa que está al otro lado de la calle, pero no justamente enfrente, ¿verdad? Puede estar al otro, de la al otro lado de la calle, pero así de un ladito, de, lo de izquierda a derecha. That, and then we use across front. Si está justo enfrente, ¿verdad? es in front of. Podemos utilizar in front of, en frente de. Ah, vaya. Gracias. Ok. Thank you so much. Any other question? Okay, yes, let's listen this information then. There is, there are, one, any, some. Is there a laundromat near here? Yes, there is. There's one across from the shopping center. No, there isn't, but there's one next to the library. Are there any grocery stores around here? Yes, there are. There are some nice stores on Pine Street. No, there aren't but there are some on 3rd Avenue. No, there aren't any around here. Prepositions. On. Next to. Near. Close to. Across from. Opposite. In front of. In back of. Behind. Between. On the corner of. If you want. No more question in this part. Then let's look at some example of this. There. In next slide, so look at this. Is there a? Aquí va el lugar. Is there a hospital? Is there a hotel? Is there a coffee shop? Is there a landromap? near here, then you can choose between these answers. So yes, there is, or oh, no, there isn't. If you answer yes, there is, you have to help the person who is asking you, there is one next to the gas station. So we are going to use the preposition of place. There is one next to the gas station. So take a look at the following examples. Is there a hotel near here? No, there isn't. There isn't any hotel near here. Is there a supermarket near here? No, there isn't. But there are some on Main Street. Is there a bank near here? Yes, there is. There is one behind the coffee shop. 
So we are going to use the preposition to help the person who is asking to find the place. I need two volunteers to practice in these small conversations. Who wants to try? Thank you, Rolando. Rolando and let me see a look. Rolando and Jacqueline, thank you so much. Can you please start, Rolando? Tell me, Jacqueline, is there a hotel near here? No, there isn't. There isn't any hotel near here. Is there a supermarket near here? No, there isn't, but there are some on Main Street. Is there a park near here? Yes, there is. There is one behind the coffee shop. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Just give me a second. There is a mistake in that slide. And it's bank, sorry. Is there a bank? Is there a bank near here? Thank you so much, Rolando and Jacqueline. I'm going to fix this right now. So it's bank. We are going to add here an N and we are ready. Any two volunteers to practice in this small conversation? The last two volunteers, please. Thank you, Yolanda and any other volunteer? Yes. Thank you, Henry. Yolanda and Henry. Is there a hotel near here? No, there is that there is only hotel near here. Is there a supermarket near here? No, there is a box. There are some and my street. Is there a bank near here? Yes, there is. There is one Beijing that coffee shop. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much, Henry. Thank you, Yolanda. Is there a hotel near here? No, there isn't. There isn't any hotel near here. Is there a supermarket near here? No, there isn't, but there are some on Main Street. Is there a bank near here? Yes, there is. There is one behind the coffee shop. Así andaba Rolando, la King Jute, preguntando por la casa de su compañera. So, where is it? ¿Dónde está? Where is it? So, let me see. I'm going to erase this. And let's go with the next. Look up the following city. Which places can you identify in this picture? Okay, Astrid, I understand. Which places can you identify in this picture? Hotel, gym, Onyx, post office, bank, grocery store, department store, restaurant, station, library. Yeah, was Jim, bus office, electronics. Okay, that's excellent. Let's see. What is this play? Bank. It's not in a bank. And what about this one? Shopping center. This one? Gasestation. Gasestation. And here we have? Drugstore. And this one? It's restaurant. 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 And what about this one? Coffee. 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 coffee shop. Store coffee. Or coffee shop. Coffee shop. Yes. Coffee shop. And what about this building? It's the department store. The department store. store. Very good. And this one? Grocery store. Okay, now using the preposition of place, can you tell me answering the following question? Question number one Where is Joe's gene? Where's Joe's gene? Joe's gene 
Jojin um, on Main Street. Okay, yes, you're right. Jojin is on Main Street. Good answer, thank you. Uh, any other answer? Joe's gym is between post office and oh, there is department store. Okay, thank you. That is a right answer too. Can you tell me where's the gas station? Fifth Avenue. Fifth Avenue. It's uh, on Fifth Avenue. I across from opposite. Okay, let's see. Um, toda esta calle es la Main Street, verdad? Main Street, and this is First Avenue. Entonces podemos decir the gas station is on Main Street. Está sobre la calle principal, verdad? La calle que se llama Main Street. On. También uh, podemos decir que está en la. It's on the corner. First Avenue. Okay, it's on the corner of. First Avenue and Main yeah. Street. First Avenue. Okay. Oh, también behind. From of First, Bank, First National, National Bank. Bank. <laughs> behind the First National Bank. Front of. Next to next, public next library. To public. Oh, we can use next to do. It's next to the public library. Very good. Thank you. So where is Rosa's restaurant? It's Rosa's up restaurant. Mabel, Apple Avenue. It's on Apple Avenue, yes. Otra manera or, de... Next to Frank Street. Street. It's next yes. to Franz Cafe. And where is the Parker's Drugstore? In front post office. It's in front of the post office. The post office, really? Drugstore? Ah, Parker's uh, uh, Drugstore. Uh, uh, between uh, James, um, Jameson Hotel. Across from. Across from across Jameson from. Hotel, yes. Between the and Pops um, Grocery and Pops Grocery. Okay, thank you, Xiomara. It's between the Mom and Pops Grocery and also Top Shoes. Then we use the preposition of place to locate, to locate the places, right, in a city. So we can use next to, in front of, across from, behind. Look, for example, the shopping center. The shopping center is behind the gas station. Or you can say the gas station is next to the public library. Princess Grocery Store is on Pine Street. Está sobre esta calle. And also you can say it's next to the bank. So where is the pay telephone? Where is the pay telephone? It's on First Avenue. Okay, Avenue. you can say it's on First Avenue. Or you can say it's on the corner of. Post office. Across from post office. Across from the post office. Mm, okay, no, you can say across from the park. It could be across from the park in the corner of First Avenue and Main Street. A corner opposite post office? In front of? In front of? Yes. The post office? Yes. No, across from. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we the can corner. use across from. Opposite. Esquina opuesta. Okay, opposite. <laughs> we can use that too. So let's see. We are going to go to the platform and we are going to solve this exercise. ¿Alguien ya lo realizó? Ah, uh, permítame. Yes. Okay. Did you have an examen? examen intermedio. 
Yes. No, it is just an exercise. It's just an exercise here on the platform. Let's see what is it. We are going to enter this. Yes. yes, we are working on section number three. And I guess this is the exercise. So here is the map. And look at the first question. Is there a near here? Necesitamos leer, ¿verdad? Las, la dirección que nos están dando acá y seleccionar qué lugar estaba buscando esa persona. La dirección, yes, there is one. It's on the corner of Elm Street en Maple Avenue. Avenue. ¿Qué lugar estaba buscando esa persona? It's on the corner of Elm Street en oh. Maple Avenue. Hotel. It's a hotel. Hotel. A hotel. Hotel. He was looking for a hotel. Yes. Elm Street en Maple Avenue. Y tenemos las opciones library, hotel, and park. Hotel. Identifiquemos primero cuál es la Elm Street. ¿Cuál es esa calle? Elm Street. Elm Street. Nice. Damos clic ahí si queremos ver la imagen en una sola pestaña. Vamos a agrandarla un poco. Bye. Where is Elm Street? Es, es esta calle de acá, ¿verdad? Is this a strip? Then let's see. Hey, hey. La dirección es It's on the Maple corner of Elm Street en Maple Avenue. Sería acá, ¿verdad? Yes. Entonces estaba buscando un hotel. Hotel. Veamos la segunda. Rápidamente. Is there a around here? Yes, there's one. In, it is next to Prince's Grocery. It is next to Prince's Grocery Store. El lugar está donde? What is next to? La parte. Prince's Grocery Store. A la par. A la par de Prince's Grocery Store. Entonces en el mapa buscamos Prince's Grocery Store. ¿Qué lugar está buscando esta persona? Bank. 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 Ok, the bank. Let's go to the bank. next. Is there a near here? Yes, there is. There is one on Main Street behind Parker's Drugstore. There's one on Main Street behind Parker's Drugstore. Vamos al mapa y buscamos the Main Street. Here is the Main Street. Ya encontramos la calle principal. Ahora dice Behind Parker's Drugstore. Behind Parker's Drugstore. ¿Qué lugar estaba buscando esta persona? Department, Department store. 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 Department Store. Let's go with the next one. Is there on Pine Avenue? No, the reason, but there is one on First Avenue and Main Street. On First Avenue and Main Street. ¿Qué lugar estaba buscando? May, uh, first, May Avenue, First Street. First Avenue and Main Street. Gas okay. Station. ¿Será the gas station? Es el que está sobre la Pine Avenue. No, no está ahí, dice. Ok, no four. Café, gas station, or hotels. Coffee, gas, coffee. Gas coffee. station. Any other opinion? Any other gas, answer? Gas station. Bueno, oh. Vamos a ver el mapa de nuevo. Look at the map. It says First Avenue and Main Street. 
no hay un café acá, so it must be the gas station. Gas station, like café. The gas station. And number five, are there on Main Street? No, there are, and there are some nice store on Pine Street. ¿Quién andaba buscando esa persona? Grocery store. There are some nice store on Pine Street. Y tenemos las opciones. Hotels, public library, o grocery store. Grocery stores. Veamos que hay on Pine Street. Is this one Pine Street. So, here are two grocery stores. Princess. Prince and Moms and Pops Grocery Store. So, must be grocery. Store. Grocery store. What about number six? It's your turn to solve this. What about number six? Is there a near here? Yes, there is. It is between the post office and O'Day's department. ¿Qué lugar está ahí? Between the post office and O'Day's department. Joe's gym. Joe's gym. Ah, entonces this person is looking for Joe's gym. Okay. Gym. And number seven, is there uh, avenue. on Second Avenue? No, there right. isn't. There is one on First Avenue across from the shopping center. Eli, First Eli, Avenue Eli, across Eli. from the shopping center. Let's see what is that. Electronic store. Electronic scenic. First Avenue in front of the shopping center. Electronic, electronic store. store. Okay, the electronic store. Let's see if it is here in the option. The electronic store. Number <coughs> eight. Is there around here? Yes, there is. Is there? There is on the corner of Main Street and First Avenue. Public library, pay phone, or drugstore. There pay is one pay. on the corner of Main Street and First Avenue. Here is the corner of First Avenue and Main Street. ¿Qué hay acá? Pay phone. Pay phone. Phone. The last two, is there near here? Yes, there's one on next to the gas station. Yes, there's one next to the gas station. ¿Qué lugar está buscando? Next to the gas station. The library. The library. Public library. Public library. Public library. Public library. Let's choose this option, public library. And the last one, are there any on First Avenue? No, there are and there are some on Maple Street. There are some on Maple Street, o sea, son, es plural, ¿verdad? ¿Qué hay dos on Maple Street? Dos son más. Restaurants. 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 So, Maple Street. Restaurants. Let's see. Okay. okay, let's check it. And all the answers were correct. Now I need to volunteer to practice in number two, number one, number two, and number three. Excellent. You did a great That's job lovely. in this exercise. So, Rolando and any other volunteer? Yes, teacher. Henry, okay, Henry. So, Rolando, you are going to read the question and Henry, you are going to read the answers, please, to practice in this part. Henry, tell me, is there a hotel near here? Yes, there is not a one. Is it fixed on... That corner of L Street and Maple Avenue. Is there a bank around here? Yes, there is one. It is next to Prince 
grocery store uh, story. Is there a department store near here? Yes, there is. There is one on May Street, Beijing, Perky, Perky, Dogger, Dogger. Drugstore, drugstore, Parker Store. Doctor. Okay, Doctor. Okay, thank you so much, you. Rolando and Henry. I need another two volunteers to practice in three, four, and five. Yolanda, thank you. Yolanda and any other volunteer? Let me see, Yolanda and Kenny. Kenny. Thank you so much. Kenny, can you okay. please ask the question? Number four, teacher. Four, five, four, five, and six, please. Okay, okay, Yolanda. Is there gas station on Pine Avenue? No, there isn't, but there is one on First Avenue and Main Street. Uh, are there grocery stores on Main Street? No, there aren't. There are some nice stores on Pine Street. Is there a gym near here? Yeah, there is. It is between the post office and Oday's department store. Thank you, Yolanda. Welcome. Thank you so much. That was a great job. Thank you. I need the last two one of you to practice in the last four sentences. Who wants to try? Hello, I need two more volunteers to finish this exercise. Ruben, thank you, Ruben. Anyone? Ruben and Jacqueline, thank you so much. Ruben, can you please read the question and Jacqueline the answers? Please. Okay, for la seven, no. Yes, please, seven. Is there a electronic store on Second Avenue? No, there isn't. There is one on First Avenue across from Shopping Center. Is there a payphone around here? Yes, there is. There is on on the corner of um, of Main Street and First Avenue. Is there a public library near here? Yes, there's one next to a gas station. Are there any restaurant on First Avenue? No, there aren't. There are some on Maple Street. Okay, thank you so much. Do you have any questions? Questions, questions? Okay, just in this one, there is a mistake in this. There is, there is one. There is one on the corner of Main Street and First Avenue. And the pronunciation of this is public library. Public library. Public library. So if you don't have any other question, let's practice in this map then. Just a second. Okay, any volunteer to answer the following question? Is there a gene near here? Is there a gene near here? Yes, there is. Yes, there is. Now, get me some help to find this place. Give me some help to find this place, please. So you say, yes, there is. There is one. In Main Street. Oh, Main Street. 
Okay, thank you. There is one on Main Street. Next question. Is there a park near here? Yes, there is. Yes, there is. It is on Main Street and 2nd Avenue. Okay, thank you so much. It is on Main Street and 2nd Avenue. Is there a bank? Is there a bank near here? Yes, yes, there is. There is. Yes, there is. It's on the, yes. There is one on the on the corner, First Avenue and Payne Street. Okay, thank you so much. Excuse me, is there a shoe store needed here? Hello, um, no, there isn't. Okay, no, there isn't any. Oh, no, there isn't. Thank you so much. Excuse me. Yes, are there some hotels near here? Yes, there is. Oh, look at the question. Are there some hotels near here? Yes, there are. Oh, yes, there are. There are some. There's some, there, there's some on next to France. On Pine Street. Okay, there are some on Pine Street. Street. Excuse me, is there a shopping center near here? Yes. Shopping center. Yes, yes there, there is. is. There is it's one. There is one behind wow. gas station. Okay, thank you. There is one behind the gas station. Excuse me, there is a post office near here. Sorry, is there a post office near here? Yes, there is. Yes, yes. there is, is from park. Oh, yes, there is one across front of the... Across front of park. Of okay, park. across front of the park. Excuse me, are there some grocery store near here? Yes, yes there, there, there are. There are. Yes, there are. Then you need to continue. There are some... There are, there are some... some. Um, on, Pine on Pine Street. Okay, there are some grocery stores on Pine Street. Oh, Pine Street. Okay, now it's your turn to make the question. Es su turno para hacer las preguntas. Who wants to try? Who wants to try asking the question? Is there, are there? Any volunteer? The teacher, they are, no, there is shopping babies. No, baby store. Okay, is it a baby store near here? Can you repeat the question? Is there a baby store near here? Is there a baby store near here? Are here. Near, near here. Hay alguna tienda de vegetales, right? Vegetables? No, baby. You say baby? Baby, de bebés. Oh, baby, you say baby. No, there isn't any baby store near here. Any other question? Uh, excuse me, is there uh, a store, store here, a gym? Is there a gym near here? Near here? Yes, there is. There is one between all day's department store and the post office. Any other question? Is there, are there? 
Is there a public library near here? Yes, there is. There is one next to the gas station on Main Street. Thank you. Excuse me. Are there universities near here? No, there isn't any university near here. Thanks. Any other question? Ask question, ask question. Excuse me, Excuse teacher. Me. Is there a church near here? A uh, sh shoe shop, shoe store? Yes, there is. There is one next to the drugstore on Pine Street. Are there schools near here? Are there any schools near here? No, there isn't any school near here. Excuse me. Are there uh, Dollar City near here? <laughs> 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 no, there isn't any Dollar City shop near here. Ah, okay, okay, then. No hay nada en esta ciudad. La Yelufa, ¿quién visita esa tienda? Any other question? The last, the last two questions. Make the question. Excuse me, is there? Excuse me, are there? Excuse me, are there hotels near here? Yes, there are some hotels on Pine Street. Oh, sorry, on Elm Street. On Elm Street. Excuse me, is there a um, payphone? Yes, there is one payphone on the corner of First Avenue and Main Street. Thank you. Okay, then in, this is the way we ask questions and also we, we give answer when somebody asks for a place. Cuando alguien nos pregunta si hay un lugar cerca. Is there a department store near here? And you say, yes, there is. There is one on Main Street. Is there a drugstore near here? Yes, there is one between Top Shoes and Mom and Pop's Grocery on Pine Street. Excuse me, is there a park near here? Yes, there is one across from the post office. Excuse me, is there a hospital near here? Say, no, the reason. Or you can say, no, the reason any hospital. So, do you have any questions about tonight's class? Questions? A question, teacher. Oh, the question. Do you have any problem or doubt about exercises on the platform? Preguntas acerca de la plataforma, problems, difficult exercises, no? No por el momento. No por el momento. Okay, so don't forget, please, oh. to complete the section number three. I hope that you have already completed section number one and section number two. If you haven't done yet, I highly recommend to complete those exercises, please. And during this week, we are going to take the midterm test too, right? Vamos a hacer el examen de medio curso al final de la semana. So That's don't right. forget about that, please. If you can do it um, after the classes or tomorrow, do it, right? Si puede avanzar a la sección 4, la sección 5, do it. You can do it. No problem, right? Si mañana me dice, teacher, ya terminé la plataforma. Excellent. Very good. Great job. Congratulations, I will say to you. Okay, so thank you so much for being here with me. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.